In this video, we are going to discuss the reciprocity theorem. So here, 20 voltage source is my excitation. Excitation. And I need to find the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor. So the value of current is my response. For reciprocity theorem, I am going to interchange the excitation and the response. For the same network, I am going to play, place this 2 ohm resistor here. So I am going to place this 2 ohm resistor here. Now I am going to change my excitation. I am going to place this excitation here. So I need to place this 20 voltage source here. But as you can see here, 20 voltage source is in series with this resistor. So I need to take all this branch. Okay. So I am going to shift this excitation to this side. So this 2 ohm resistor and this 20 voltage source. 2 ohm resistor and 20 voltage source. Now here this is my excitation and the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor will be my response. According to reciprocity theorem, the ratio of excitation by response should be same. So first of all, we can find the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor in this circuit. So I am going to use mesh analysis. I am going to name these meshes I1, then this one I2 and here I am going to name it as I3. I am going to write the mesh equation. Okay. So for first mesh, it is going to be minus 20 plus 2I1 plus 3 ohm resistor common to both the meshes. So 3I1 minus I2 equal to 0. From this I will get 2 plus 3 is 5. 5I1 five minus 3I2 equal to this minus 20. I am going to take it other side. So I will get 20. So this is my first mesh equation. Now second mesh equation. 3 ohm resistor common to both the meshes. So 3I2 minus I1 plus 2I2 plus 2I2 minus I3. 2I2 minus I3 equal to 0. From this I will get 3 plus 2 5, 5 plus 2 7. 7I2 seven minus 3I1 minus 2I3 equal to 0. Now the third mesh it is 2I3 minus I2. 2I3 minus I2 plus 2I3 equal to 0. From this I will get 2 plus 2 it is 4. 4I3 four minus 2I2 equal to 0. That is my third equation. This is my second equation. Now write the equation in the order of I1, I2, then I3. So for first equation I1 it is 5I1 minus 3I2 plus no I3 type. So 0I3 equal to 20. Second equation it is minus 3I1. First of all I need to write I1 okay. So minus 3I1 then plus 7I2 minus 2I3 equal to 0. Third equation there is no I1 type. So 0I1 minus 2I2 plus 4i3 equal to 0. Now solve this equation in calculator and find the value of i1, i2, i3. So mod then equation 3 unknowns are there. i1, i2, i3. So I am going to press 3. a1 it is 5 then minus 3 0 c 20. It's going to be 20. d1 it is 20. Then a2 it is minus 3 7 minus 2 0 and 0 minus 2 4. 0 minus 2 4, 0. So I1 it is going to be 5.71. Then I2 it is going to be 2.85. I3 it is going to be 1.42 ampere. So I need to find I3 because I3 is the current flowing through this resistor. So my value it is 1.42. So I value it is 1.42 ampere. So excitation value it is 20 volt. Excitation it is 20. Response it is I value that is 1.42 ampere. Now I am going to find the current in this circuit. So again I am going to do mesh analysis. This is I1, this is I2 and this is I3. For first mesh it is 2I1 plus 3I1 minus I2. 3I1 minus I2 equal to 0. From this I will get 5I1 minus 3i2 equal to 0. That is my first equation. Second equation 3i2 minus i1. 3i2 minus i1 plus 2i2 plus 2i2 minus i3. 2i2 minus i3 equal to 0. From this I will get 3 plus 2 5, 5 plus 2 7. 7i2 7 minus 3i1 plus minus 2i3 equal to 0. That is my second equation. Third equation i3 minus i2. So 2 I3 minus I2 plus 2I3 equal to not equal to plus equation like this okay so plus 20 equal to 0 from this I will get 
2 plus 2 4 4 i 3 minus 2 i 2 equal to this plus 20 I'm going to take other side so it will come minus 20 it is my third equation now rewrite this equation in the order i1 i2 i3 so first equation i1 it is 5 i1 minus 3 i2 there is no i3 term so plus 0 i3 equal to 0 second equation it is i1 first of all we need to write i1 so minus 3 i1 plus 7 i2 minus 2 i3 equal to 0 now the third equation there is no i1 term therefore 0 i1 then minus 2 i2 plus 4 i3 equal to minus 20 now solve it in calculator and find the value of i1 i2 i3 so mod button equation there are three unknowns i1 i2 i3 so plus 3 now a1 it is 5 then minus 3 0 0 minus 3 7 minus 2 0 minus 3 7 minus 2 0 0 minus 2 4 minus 20 0 minus 2 4 minus 20 so i1 i am getting it as minus 1.42 i2 it is minus 2.38 i3 it is minus 6.19 all values i am getting in negative sign so the direction of current will be opposite to the direction that i assumed so here the direction of current will be like this so my i value is i1 so i1 the value it is 1.42 so here also i am getting 1.42 ampere as the current rating now excitation by response excitation it is 20 volt excitation it is 20 and response it is excitation it is 20 and response it is 1.42 the same excitation by response ratio i am getting when i interchange with the voltage source and response for both the circuit i am getting the excitation by response ratio same for a linear network if i interchange the excitation and response then the ratio of excitation by response should be same this is called reciprocity theorem